Hi everyone, this is Yasin Awal and he plays for the Monroe Township Soccer Club. Hi! Today he will demonstrate for us some soccer drills that you can do at home to help improve your game. By doing these drills, we will be hopeful to elevate your game and improve your abilities on the soccer pitch. So let's begin. For our first drill, we will be weaving patterns using the cones. If you don't have cones, any objects will do at home. As you can see here, we have laid out the cones in a pattern that will help you use your inside and outside foot. We will do two laps where the first lap will focus on using an inside foot to dribble and the return lap will focus on the outside foot. We will first go slow to increase our touches on the ball and show how the drill is done, where the second time around we will increase the speed which will reduce our touches and help us understand the true achievement of the drill, which is to help us actually go back and forth and weave. Okay, ready Yasin? So as you can see here, guys, Yasin is going nice and slow, and he's using his inside foot. The reason we're going slow is we could demonstrate how this is supposed to go. Now Yasin is going to do his outside foot. And you can see here it's a little different when you're going and using your outside. Nice job, Yasin. Okay, now the second time around, Yasin will pick up the pace. As you guys can see, the key is to keep the keep, keep the dribbling nice and tight around the cones. And now he's going to switch to his outside foot. Nice job, Yasin. For our second drill and onwards, you could see we took our cones and created two ends which will complete the rest of our drills for this video. In this drill, our goal will be to go from one end to the other in a sideway pattern using only the inside portion of our foot. This will help focus on our footwork along with how to move the ball using both of our feet. As you can see here, it's not that easy, but what Yasin is trying to do is use both of the inside feet and keep moving towards one end and the other. Nice job, Yasin. Thanks. For our third drill, we'll be doing taps on the top of the ball to move backwards. This drill will help us understand how to use our feet against the top of the ball and do a turn, which is a popular move to use in gameplay when trying to change opposite direction of movement. But before we do that, we will do this first to help us get a feel. Ready, Yasin? As you can see here, Yasin is trying to balance the ball going backwards using the top of his feet and moving it back. This is not an easy drill, but when you keep on doing it, you'll have good repetition and you'll have a good feel for it. Thanks, Yasin. You're welcome. For our next and last set of drills, we'll be doing the following. We will move from one end to the other, doing the turn. So the prior drill allows us now to actually evaluate and show you how the turn is done, which is a great technique to use for beginners. For the second turn, we will do the L turn, or otherwise known as the Cruyff turn. For our third turn, we will do a double, or what is known as the Ronaldo. And lastly, we will do the last turn as a chop technique, using the inside and outside of our foot. This combines everything we've done up until this point. We will do these one at a time to complete our set. Ready, Yasin? Yeah. All right, Yasin, ready? Do the turn. Nice. As you guys could see, it's a very quick and easy way to change direction. Thank you, Yasin. You're welcome. Okay, ready, Yasin? Now we're going to do the L turn, otherwise known as the Cruyff. So as you see here, Yasin did a touch, does a turn, does another touch, and does the turn back. There you go. Nice job, Yasin. All right, now for our third attempt here, we're going to do the double turn, otherwise known as the Ronaldo. Nice job, Yasin. All right, for our final series here, we're going to do the outside and inside chops, starting with the inside and ending with the outside. Go for it, Yasin. Nice 
Nice job. You see that? As you can see, the inside and outside are both working together. It's a very nice way to actually use the technique both ways to change direction and also keep control of the ball while it's nice and tight. Thanks, Yasin. You're welcome. And that concludes our drills. Thanks, Yasin, for showing us these drills, which you can do easily at home. As you can see, by simply spending 15 minutes a day doing these drills, you can dramatically improve your abilities in the soccer field. See you out there.